गुरु शुक्राचार्य द ग्रेट किंग ऑफ असुराज माइटी दशमुख रावणाज सन प्राइड ऑफ लंकापुरी प्रिंस मेघना बिहोल्ड द थर्ड इन हिज क्राई रिजॉइस फॉर इट ब्रिंग्स विद इट साइंस ऑफ अ टाइम दैट वी ऑल अवेट लेट दिस क्राई शैटर द वॉल्स ऑफ देवलोका Something bothering you, father-in-law? Yes, Indra. Asuras in Lankapuri are rejoicing the birth of their newborn prince, <laughs> the first son of the mighty Ravana. Hmm. A limited life is all that the mortals can celebrate. Pull them out. Let them. Their prince's first cry was said to have sounded like a thunderbolt. Such gimmicks! You are talking to the god of thunder and rain. Remember? Yes, my memory does not fail me, God of Gods, but I wanted to warn you. Warn me of a sound that an infant made? <laughs> This could be a sign, Indra. A sign. Hmm. In fact, you're right. It is a sign that you need a rest. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Sometimes There is a sign within a sign but often at times impudence is a sign a sign of regression talking of signs this ancient pillar embeds in it many signs and symbols which tell stories of power conceit finance vengeance and heroism one such story is of the asuras and devas two races who have always been rivals their enmity was secured forever because of a treachery that the devas committed it was the time when the devas were weaker than asuras and were losing battles the only way for the devas to outcast the asuras was to obtain a divine nectar from the depths of the great ocean and become immortal but they needed the help of the asuras to haul it out so the king of the devas indra approached the king of the asuras and promised them half of everything that the ocean would bring forth if they worked as allies the asuras agreed and the nectar was brought forth but the devas denied even a drop of nectar to the asuras and crushed the asuras with the new power you have deceived us we will have our revenge Ever since the fire of betrayal kept burning in the hearts of mortal asuras while the immortal devas blissfully gloated in empty pride oh, immortals Look there bells What is it? Pardon me, Lord, but the Lord of Creation, Brahma, has arrived at our portals. What? Devil 
Loka welcomes you, Great Lord. We are blessed with this opportunity to honor you. Please. I am certainly not here to enjoy the hospitality and grandeur of Devaloka. Uh, uh, of course. Wake up, Indra. Try to see what is impending. What is it, Great Lord? The Asuras. <laughs> Indra, your laughter is a reflection of your presumptuousness. Pardon me, my Lord. But Asuras can never cause us any anxiety. Think otherwise. Some of them now have great boons from Supreme Masters. Mm. But no boon can match that of immortality. Get it? You had immortality too easy and don't see beyond it. Your worry is undue, my lord. We have always defeated Asuras. Should they dare rise against us, <laughs> I swear I will crush them again. Learn to swear with great caution, Indra. Your conduct prevents me from offering you any further advice. <sighs> Not too long after Brahma departed, a great battle arrived at the doorsteps of Devaloka. <laughs> Indra! Indra! I know! Samasuras at our gates. You don't understand. The battle has begun. The Asuras are here. Asuras, Asuras, Asuras! But Indra... Hmm. Here, my lord. Asuras can never breach our walls. But hundreds have already entered our north gate. Entered the gates? Impossible! <laughs> That's not all. So many of them have already assembled in front of Devaloka. What? But they can't get here amongst the clouds. They walk, road, whatever. And no one saw? They travel in space. With Meganath's lightning attack, the South Wing Asura troops have been able to enter Devloka walls. Now, Devas are alert and the resistance is intense. Action the army! Army at your command, my lord! My brave Asura warriors! True warriors fight for a reason. Remember our reason. We fight against prejudice. We fight against betrayal. We fight against treachery. Remember, we are Asuras. Courageous and powerful. Let us rewrite the story written by these immortals. Today, let us fight to get back what is righteously ours.
oil! Pour the oil! <laughs> now! Burn them all! Burn you, Asura! Treachery! Treachery! You coward! You brat! Now we need him! Yes, we need Magnat now. Magnat! Die, you insolent creatures! Hold on, Imbra! It's just the beginning. Who is it? How dare? Who is it? Meghna. Here, Indra. Look straight up. I see your brown wobbles. Show your face, you coward. Up here in front of me. <laughs> I appear. You fall. <sighs> we haven't even met. And I already have your crown. <laughs> What a pity. From now on, practice holding on to your crown. Get him! Now! Don't leave him! Hold! Dad. Don't be in such a hurry, Indra. I'll be back! Huh? Huh? Father! <sighs> what happened? Why are you on the floor? <sighs> Megna! To the gates! These devas will lord over us no more! Rest not till you conquer! Arise to your destiny! This battle can be lethal. Meghana is what was hidden in Brahma's advice. I don't have time to solve riddles. Tell me what weapon he has. He has a multitude of talent in arrow fighting. Which means nothing. What else? Young Meghana has undergone many hardships and penances consistently. No praises, please. What weapons? He possesses Brahmastra, Pashupatastra and Vaishnavastra. Oh, very well. Then he should also see what a Vajrayuda looks like. Don't even think of using the Vajrayuda. If you use it here, you will destroy Devaloka as well. The enemies have passed the second fortification. What the hell? So anytime they will be here. Prepare the archers. We have to stop them now. I will directly lead an attack against them. Father, it does not suit your stature to fight these Asuras. And certainly not the prince. Let a prince fight a prince. No, Jayanta. Allow me, no. father. Let me fight this, Meghanath. Don't take a hasty decision. I think we should do this. No! All right, go. Counter him head on. Yes, father. to the glory of Lord Ravana and the Asura Kingdom! Stop! The King of Gods went hiding and sent his son to do the fighting! <laughs> Kings fight with equals. As for you, fight me first to know your worth. <laughs> Snobbery runs in the family. Huh? You are high-handed. Come on, attack! Hundreds of arrows there when I'm here. This this is not a fair fight, Megna. Is that a fair fight? <laughs> is dousing my troops with boiling oil a fair fight? Or stealing divine nectar? You don't deserve a fair fight, do you? I have to cut down all your extra hands. So hold on. <gasps> 
Asura brothers, rise! Prince Meghanath is here to protect us! Attack! Hey! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Lord Indra, Ravana and his troops are already at our second level. And we have lost most of our troops at the base camp. Asuras have surrounded us from all sides. There he is! Archers! Up you immortal prince. Archers! No! Pull him out! Get my son back from those animals! Meganath killed an immortal! We will all die! Lord Indra, help us! Oh, oh. Go, go, go quickly! Meganath! Come out! Face me! Meganath! Thousands of deaths! Indra is using what Zrayudha. Oh, Prince Meganath is there. Indra has lost his mind. He's destroying his own kingdom. Indra will be at your feet, I promise. It's no longer yours. Huh? And look around what you did, you fool. Careful. Careful with your words, Asura boy. Remember who you're talking to. Sorry? Who exactly are you again? I am the god of gods. I am immortal. You are just a thief. You stole immortality from us. Mm -hmm. And now... <laughs> <laughs> Never triple with the god of gods. Say your last prayers, boy. Oh. 
It's time for you to surrender. As Meghana Kuldindra into the streets of Lankapuri, the Asura's jubilations knew no boundary. Indira lay aggravated and tormented, venting out all his energy on the chains that bound him by Meghanath's magic spell. Over a month, I lay here, captive, here, in streets of Lanka. Can't you see? <sighs> what good is immortality if I am to be a prisoner all my life, <laughs> living on arms? I'd rather be dead. Help me, Lord. Help me. You? I'm free? Seasons changed and slowly Indra's rage became a quiet river. He contemplated the turn of events that had brought him to his knees. And after ages, Indra prayed to Brahma, whose words he had scoffed at. He prayed for months, but... Huh? Huh? You came, my lord. Lord Brahma! I know you were expecting me as much as Indra. Lord, I request you to place your holy feet in our land and bless us. With pleasure, son. We remain indebted to you for this kindest gesture, my lord. Tell me, my lord, what can this insignificant creature do for you? <gasps> Meghanath, we both know why I am here. I request you to release Indra now. Without him leading the ranks, gods are divided and weak. And it's my duty to see that the balance of the universe is not upset anymore. I am always at your command, my lord. Then free him, O oh Victor. He is already free, my lord. He freed himself long ago. He is only captured by illusory chains. I see. He has learned much from this defeat and his time at Lankapuri. Now it's time for him to return. Uh. <laughs> I know, my son, you seek immortality for this clan. But that is one boon that I cannot grant Meghanath. Have I fallen short of any penance, my lord? Not at all. You have always displayed strength and purity of your soul. And for that, there is something else I wish to offer you in private. Take me to your favorite place, Meghanath. I have decided to offer you a boon and it is very important that it is known to no one else. Please go ahead, Lord. There is no one else here. Okay. Listen carefully. Before any battle, if you pray to Goddess Nikumbhila, you will turn invincible. But God the sacred Meghanath. Thank you, my lord. Huh? Hmm, there is something else too, but that has to be announced in public. Let's go back. Oh, Asuras, on my request, your kind Prince Meghanath has granted the release of Indra. This gesture is symbolic of his greatness, which lies in his benevolence, endurance and unwavering duty. And to complement his deeds, I present him a name that is greater than Indra. From now on, Meghanath will be known as Indrajit. The one who won over Indra. Long live Indraji! Welcome to immortality, Indrajit. <laughs> Indrajit 
a symbol of immortal heroism.